Alright, and welcome back to the Lion's Den. Here we go. We're going to jump right in today and we're going to be talking about what I've noticed people are doing to get W's. How to get these champion screens. I know that's a big topic. I keep bringing it up, but I keep seeing people doing different things and I've noticed a trend that when I do certain things, it leads to my victory and etc. So right now I'm going to break that down here. First off, I want to give a big shout out to a couple people here. We're going to talk about I have the Danks on Instagram and on Twitch. Check him out. Secretly Sith. His name's Joe. He's on Instagram and on Twitch as well. They both live stream Apex Legends all the time. Big shout out to them because I did take some of this info from their champion screens and their wins, their Ws. That's where I was like analyzing things and then the, the other people are. It's Lottie Dottie on Instagram also streaming, looking at some of his content. And then I am Curvy TV. Big shout out to you guys. And we're just going to go ahead and talk about what we've broken down and what I've noticed. So these are the things that I've taken away by looking at all four of those people and including myself. And then obviously just things I've seen on YouTube. But this is the common themes that everyone has where it leads to the champion screen at the end or to winning that gunfight. And this is what happens. First thing I'm going to do here is give a big fucking honorable mention to the digital threat site and to the three times HCOG, okay? A lot of these clips, guys, for the champion screens, for the nasty kills that they get, like I said, check their stream out, check their Instagram out, they, these guys pop off, okay? And they, they'll go in and they just get all the kills, they'll get the squad wipes, they get the Ws, and a lot of them, a lot of the time are using the digital threat site and the three times ACOG, HCOG, excuse me, site. So take it for what it is, use it for what you can, but these sites are fucking powerful. Yes, if you, so. if you Look at them, oh, they're, they're my favorite by far, without question. If I see them, I pick them up. I will almost drop an R301 for the R99 for the sole reason that I can have that digital threat site. All right, and this is just gonna be a quick video and there's about four things that I've noticed, four trends that I've followed through threading all of these clips together. And I'm actually gonna pull up some of these clips as like an honorable mention and just to give you context as to what I'm talking about on screen as we're going through so you can see where I'm coming from. First thing, they seldom thirst their enemies while engaged. What I mean by that is when they get a down but not out player, they stay that way. Okay, they, these guys turn their attention to the remaining players who are alive. If you get the squad wipe, it's usually because you downed all three players and the last guy goes down and it's game over. Rarely do I see these guys go and thirst the kill just for the sake of the kill. They only do it if it's like guaranteed, you know, he's alone in a corner in a building and there's no one around and they get the kill, okay? Every other time, they're immediately on the hunt for the next enemy which in turn leads to their success. The pressure is constantly applied. This rolls into number two that we're gonna talk about. This say, again, another common theme that I see through all of their videos is they know when to push the engagement. So the pressure is applied at the proper time, okay? Timing is everything. And these players know when they break the enemy's shields. They know where their teammates are, how much health their teammate has, and they make sure they push as a single unit. All of these guys, unless it's like the 1v1 at the end or something like that, which a lot of these videos are because it's their highlights clearly, but a lot of it is with the team. You know, they're within the, it's the five foot rule, bro. They're, they're with the team. They're in the same buildings. They're on the same hills. They're close by. So when that engagement does pop off or that third party does come, everybody is good to go and they, they fun function as one unit. The clip that I'm pulling up right now, this one is by obviously I have the Danks. And this is a perfect example here because his entire team is around this fight the whole time. They're communicating well, they push together, they back off when they're supposed to, and then they get into the next engagement together. It's not one guy in the corner looting the dead bodies while they get third party from behind and nobody's prepared. All of them seem to be ready, they're all engaging, they're all shooting, they're all using their grenades, etc. Rolling into the next topic here, it's very basic again. They use cover efficiently and consistently. I rarely see in these clips that any of these players strafe left and right and get caught out in the open while they're engaging. It seems to be that they're sticking close to their cover, whether it's a rock, supply bin, a truck, doors, it doesn't fucking matter. 
but when they're shooting, they get clear sights on the enemy and they stay close to cover. It's very simple. They just keep a piece of cover in between them and the enemy as much as possible. And they use it to their advantage to absorb shots, to take cover behind explosions, etc. Right now, I'm pulling up this clip that you're watching. It's by Secretly Sith. That's Joe here. And he's fucking killing it, dude. This is the prime example right here of what you should be using cover. He uses his supply bin to his advantage perfectly, okay? He lets that other player waste the entire magazine while he's reloading. He dances around it, and then he comes through and cleans it up. That is what you should be doing. He stayed calm, he's paying attention, and he used that cover to his advantage. And the last thing that we're going to talk about here is that all of these players use verticality extremely well. And I don't just mean that they're always taking the high ground, although I think you should if you can. You should always have the high ground if you can. It is how they take the high ground. They use this position to their advantage properly. That's the big takeaway here. It's not enough to just be in the highest spot. Think of the high ground as a sniper's nest, if you will. Use, use it to survey the area, find a distracted enemy, and then strike while their guard is down. The clips are reviewed, don't show these players using prey and spray to get the kills. They strategically strike from above with a purpose to get the jump on their enemy. Now this happens in many ways. I'm pulling a couple clips up here. This one is used by um, I'm Curvy TV. He uses verticality here to make sure that he has high ground one, and then he uses it again here in this clip to damage. To, I mean, to get away from the enemy. And you'll see Octane runs around, boom, and he's able to get the jump on him because he is in the air and not on the same level as Octane. So they use the high ground as a good way to get a flank on an enemy. They use it to ambush men enemies who thought they were safe when they go back in and they're looting or something. And it's basically just a, they use it as a breath of fresh air before they re-engage in the fray of the next battle, okay? It's, I've even seen it used to trick enemies who are hunting them in general. It's not just getting the high ground and, and praying and spraying down below and hoping you're getting those kills. If someone has a longbow, they're gonna take you out. Or if they're good, they're gonna take you out, okay? They're using the high ground to their advantage. They, they know when to capitalize on the attack when they're on the high ground. They know when to use the high ground as a defensive maneuver and then reapply their shields, reapply their health, and then get back into the fight. And they know when to use the high ground as just a way to get help and then sting from behind. This is for you. Take this video. All their links are down below. Check out my page. They're all over my page. And go check them out. Check out their streams. They post daily. They stream almost daily, if not every other day, depending on their work. They post it on their page. Give these guys a big shout out. They're fucking killer at this game. They love it. And that's all I have for you today. Just a very basic video, very basic breakdown of what you should be doing in order to get these champion screens and it, you really need to just all these clips that you guys love and you look at analyze them break them down what are these players doing that are leading to these victories and you will start to see an improvement in your game if you start looking at it from that perspective instead of just saying oh my god this guy's on god mode break oh my god he gets all these shots break down how they're doing it and then translate that into your gameplay have a fucking good day, guys. Take care. And as always, thanks for watching. Oh, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and hit that like and you comment. Let me know what you think. Do you want to see something else? Do you want to see another breakdown? Let's fucking talk about it.